the moment that I get a car, even before I actually put a deposit on a car, I spend probably about 67 hours sitting in my garage dreaming up ways to modify it, to make it more capable, more unique, to make it mine. Typically that includes, in order of importance for me anyway, first thing is suspension because few cars come with very good quality suspension standard out of the factory. Uh, then typically comes tyres for the same reason, oftentimes wheels because a lot of factory wheels are pretty ordinary and often a little bit on the small side. Then we get into things like chassis improvements like strap braces, that kind of stuff, depending on the kind of vehicle of course. Audio system, luggage carrying for certain kinds of cars and cosmetic embellishments. My most recent sports car before the Porsche Boxster, uh, the ND MX-5 GT manual which I did a video on very recently, that copped a raft of enhancements within 24 hours of arriving in my garage. In fact, I'd already bought a bunch of stuff for it um, and it was sitting there in the garage waiting for the car's arrival. So that was a brilliant blank canvas to work with and, and modifying and enhancing that car was easy. The Boxster, however, hasn't been so easy. I mean, the wheels are already the ones that I always wanted. The suspension is perfect for road use. I'm not tracking my car at all and in fact I recently went to a suspension specialist for JDM cars went there with my brother-in-law who's got a thousand horsepower Toyota Supra he was getting suspension for that and I asked them what suspension I could put on my car to improve its handling their response was why would you <laughs> it's already perfect to begin with you know if you're not going to track the car what comes with a 981 Boxer standard is already brilliant so I appreciated their candor as for other things um, the audio system and it for me is good enough. I mean, I love good quality audio, but I don't obsess over it like I used to with cars in the past. That you, that used to actually be the very first thing that I would rip out of a car. Going back to my very first car, the Holden Gemini panel van, that was the first thing to go, was the sound system and then a steering wheel and a sunroof and all that kind of thing. Um, but nowadays, I tend to listen to most of my music here in front of my computer, which is why I've got audio engine A5s because they're brilliant speakers. So audio in the car isn't so important anymore and the audio system in the in the base box too is, is good enough. A couple of months ago, I got an email from um, a viewer of my videos, a guy called William over in the US. You have to pardon my voice, by the way. I'm on the verge of losing my voice, just getting over a cold. Um, but William wrote to me asking if I'd be interested in trying his full width LED tar light for the 981 series Porsches. And he sent me a couple of photos and a video of one being installed. And I have to say, it looked really cool. I mean, one of the things that I love about the current 911, for example, is that full width light strip. It just looks, it just completes the car. And this LED tail light strip seeks to emulate that style. Obviously, it's a different looking car. The back of a 981 Boxster compared to a 911. It can't really compete with a 911 on looks and I've made that clear in my other videos, but I was intrigued. So I said to William, look, um, you're welcome to send one over, but I can't guarantee that I'm going to do a video on it or that I'm going to promote your product in any way. But I'll tell you this, if installing it is straightforward, if it's pretty much problem free, and if I like it and it works well and it looks good on the car, then sure, I'm happy to, to tell people about it because if it's good, then I'm happy to tell other Boxster and Cayman owners about this product. So I'm happy to say that a couple of weeks ago, I did install it. Took me a while to get around to it. I've been pretty busy and I absolutely love it. I think it's brilliant. Granted, um, the one of the plugs that uh, goes into the rear tail light that it daisy chains off needed to be shaved a little bit by William, not by me. They've had to shave them a little bit so that they fit in nice and snug. Um, but other than that, I mean, you don't see that once you install it. Other than that, the effect um, is fantastic and it fits perfectly. The process is very straightforward. It essentially involves uh, manually lifting up your spoiler with the button in the console, lifting up the rear spoiler. Now this is for both 981 Cayman and Boxster. So you lift the spoiler, you remove the top section of the spoiler so you can get access to um, the bolts which adjust the height of the spoiler relative to the place where it seats. Because this thing is about eight mil thick, you do need to adjust your spoiler up a little bit so that one, when it comes back down again, it rests just on top of this new LED strip and doesn't try to push hard onto it. Oh. That is perfect. That's perfect. Good. Absolutely perfect. It's snug as a bug in a rug. All right, so that's where it stays.
Now, like I said, I've had it on there for a couple of weeks. I've driven the car hard. It's been washed with a pressure washer a number of times. It's still on there nice and firmly. Uh, I think it's 3M adhesive, which of course is very good. So I don't think it's gonna come off. I think it's gonna be fine. It looks fantastic. And the reality is if it ever did need to be removed, then it's not gonna be a particularly difficult job to remove it. It's gonna be undo a couple of plugs, plug the tar light back into its original socket and use a bit of heat to loosen up the adhesive and remove the strip. So I'm confident that that's not gonna be a problem and somebody's walked in while I'm recording. That's my son. <coughs> then once the LED strip is in place, the sockets are connected, the tar lights put back in, um, then it's just a matter of adjusting the height, the resting height of the rear spoiler. Make sure it's nice and flush, left and right, and um, just test it out. Raise it up, lower it down. You might need to adjust a little bit more. I would err on the side of caution and raise the spoiler a bit more than you need to first so that when you lower it, there's a little, little bit of a gap and then you can just manually lower a little bit more with the two bolts, one each side. And then uh, once you're set, you just fix the, uh, the top cover of your spoiler back on and you're done. So I'm confident that um, there are very few, if any other 981s on the road here in Melbourne, Australia with this LED tail light. So I already know that my car looks just that little bit different. Uh, from the rear. The only other things that I've really been able to do to my car to make it stand out without doing anything crazy is put uh, small wheel spaces on it to just push the wheels out to the edge of the guards, which I always like. Uh, my daughters insisted that like my previous sports car, the MX-5, which was called Maximus, they insisted that I give this car a name as well. And after a bit of uh, back and forth, we decided to call it Eve, which is the name of that cute little white space robot in the movie WALL-E. So I think that's pretty appropriate given the color of the car. Oh yes, the one other thing that I did was put uh, the Zun Sport mesh grills on the front, on the air intakes and on the rear. And I think that actually enhanced the look quite a bit. I did the same thing with the ND MX-5 on the front. Anyway, if you'd like to buy one of these for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below where you can uh, order your own from William. Uh, William has been lovely to deal with. Any questions I had, he answered them nice and quickly. He seems like a lovely guy. He started off with just a couple of products by the look of it, um, only a couple of months ago, and now he's got quite a few more. So that's really good. Um, kudos to him. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. I don't do a whole lot of product endorsements on this channel, but if I see something that I really like and I try it out, I'm happy with it, then I'm more than happy to tell you guys about it. And, you know, full disclosure, he did send this to me for free. I didn't pay for it. Um, but like I said to at the beginning, I told him that I would only do a video on this if I liked it, if it was easy to install, and um, I was happy with the quality of it, which I am. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.